Hey everyone, Dr. Clark here. I want to share with you a recent update uh, with my patient, Debbie. Uh, if you followed her at all, I've been working with her for going on almost three years and uh, she was originally diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And I just had a follow-up with her uh, recently and I, I, I wanted to share it with you because she's doing so, so well. Um, I don't want to steal her thunder, but I'm going to a little bit. Uh, she ha was on permanent disability when I first saw her, and now she's back to work part time. I mean, she, <laughs> I mean, she's doing so well. She's done exactly what I've asked her to do. She's had some difficulties along the way, as I'll let her uh, tell you. But I, I want to show you this because if you if you know someone that's got multiple sclerosis or is you know having a hard time, I want you to show them Debbie's story because uh, they can get better. There is uh, there is help for them. And they just got to do the right thing. So I'm going to let Debbie tell you the rest. Debbie, so let's just see. How long has it been since we first started seeing you? I think it'll be three years in April. Right. Does that sound about right? That sounds about right. And so when we first saw you, because some people that are going to watch us have seen some of your videos in between, but when you first came in, I want, to, I want you to contrast then to now and kind of the most recent trial that you had, and we'll call it a trial, and how you, and how you did with that. So. Okay. Um, when I first started coming to you, um, I was in pain all over pretty much 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. um, just something as simple as lifting a coffee cup was painful for me. Everything hurt all over. It hurt to move my hair even. It felt that inflamed. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of difficulty with numbness and weakness and mm -hmm. overheating and just a real feverish, sick feeling all the time pretty mm -hmm. much. And some of that was related to the in injection medication I was right. on. Um, since then, I have steadily improved. And... Um, it's been nearly three years now, mm -hmm. and where I was on complete disability also. When I came to you, January of 08, I went on permanent disability, thinking I'd probably never work again. Um, I have improved so much so that I am now working part-time, up to 25 hours a week. Um, real excited about that, and uh, my husband was in tears the other night just saying, look at you, you're working. We never thought we'd be here again. Look at the progress you've made. And, and I always tell people it's been, when well, the instantaneous healing, it's been more like an exodus, yeah. but it has been coming, it's been steady. And um, I did have a major relapse in May um, at the, the, after a very stressful eight weeks, I mean eight days when we lost my mother-in-law. And, um, but the thing about even that relapse, which put me on my tail, I mean, I was wheelchair bound and having to use a walker as I recovered. I believe that relapse would have taken me months, if not years, to recover from if I recovered. And um, because long, of the work we've been doing... Well, how long was, did it take you to recover? I was back on my feet in about two weeks. And I would say in about three weeks, I was pretty much at my pre-crisis state. Yeah. Maybe with a little more fatigue than usual. But but it, I, I really quickly got back to the pre-crisis state. Weren't you starting to my, work like right around that time, though, too? Yes, it was right at the time. I had just been offered a, a part-time position. I was just returning to work, so... It, it scared me a little bit to be in yeah. relapse. I thought, oh no, I've, I've come so far, is it going to be you know, back to permanent disability? Um, so I was really grateful that uh, we made that deadline. I made the training uh, at the end of that month that had been scheduled and uh, have been steadily improving since. So very grateful. Yeah, very good. Well, more good stuff ahead, right? Absolutely. Yeah.